right, I think we are live. Just gonna wait a bit before I begin. Okay, if you can hear me, just let me type down in the chat. Yeah, they can hear me. All right. Well, I do a couple of things. Okay, all right, let me just switch it on for just a bit. Ah, okay, got it. There's some. Okay, all right, let's take a look. All right, so uh, welcome everybody to tonight's edition of Mastery Monday, all right? Uh, I think it's a bit later than expected, but uh, that's because I think that's a lesson for me because I, there was a bit of a lack of planning there. But with that, right, I think tonight is going to be interesting, right? There's going to be, I'm going to answer a couple of questions uh, that the community has so far, right? And I'm pretty excited about doing it. So uh, with that, let's just going to wait a little bit more before, uh, just wait for people to come on board. Right, and uh, I share just a little bit, right? So you can type, you can hear me, or whether you're watching the repeated one, or whether you're just watching the recording or the live one, just type yes in the chat. You can hear me, right? And I'll get started in just a bit, okay? All right, so first things first, right? I just want to share a quick principle I learned before I get on to the questions, right? And while we wait for a couple of people to come, right? And recently I read in this article, right, uh, about this thing called the rule of thirds. Right, the rule of trees, right, when it comes to personal development, right? So what they say, right, what they say that the number three, right, that means the number three, right, is one of the, uh, is recommended as a number in terms of number of things that you want to focus on. So whatever things that you want to focus on, uh, whether it's your business, your investing, your life, right, or overall goals, right, is, is a good number is just to focus on three. Right, if it goes on four, five, six, it might be a bit too many. Right, if it goes on two or one, right, sometimes it might not be the most effective uh, or more, more as efficient as you like. Right, so one thing you want to focus on, right, is moving forward, right, whether you're picking a new skill, right, whether you're trying to think of uh, three goals you want to achieve by end of the month, right, or whether it's on a daily basis, you want to find three things you're grateful for, three things to look past at the day, uh, three big things that happen, right, three areas of improvement, right. So using the number three is a very simple way of you to get started. That is not too big. Right, that it becomes a bit overwhelming. They might start procrastinating and stuff, or it might uh, also not too small. Right, that it becomes doesn't become as effective as you like. Right, so uh, the rule of thirds in terms of um, whatever you focus on in terms of productivity, in terms of space, when you do your reviews, your reflections, your goal setting. Right, three is a very nice number, and only gonna push yourself a little bit, but not on a uh, regular basis. Right, you actually can do it on uh, number five. Right, you can do five things, uh, but that's something that I wouldn't recommend, uh, especially if you're trying to start out a habit um, by yourself. All right, so with that, uh, tonight is a chill session actually, right? So I'm just going to answer a couple of questions uh, that you guys might have in the chat over here, right? But first, let me just see that everyone's, the group is being live at the moment. Okay, I hope it's live. I can't seem to see it on my phone. Okay, I can see it. First thing is first. Okay, I can see. That's great. So, all right, let me just take a look at the questions. All right, so number one, right? Uh, like I said, uh, like uh, put in the disclaimer over here, right? Please know that all responses are completely spontaneous, right? Based on my own experience and what I personally do. So uh, like I said, my Mastery Monday is just a very chill, uh, relaxed, casual session for me just to be uh, on live, right? Just to just commit myself to being uh, on live every single Monday evening, right? So whether it's from 7 p.m. or 10 p.m., right? I just want to be live whenever I can. And obviously over the period of time, I will start being better. I'll try to get a bit more data and feedback so I can constantly improve uh, what I do. All right, so the first question, right? I actually lump a few questions together, right? Because it's all similar questions. I think the number first question I received is, how do you manage to have the energy and time to learn so many things, right? Uh, and 
and some somebody also asked is do I master one thing first and then I proceed to the next and how long do I typically take to master one thing right so I think that's a very good question right? I just answer the first question first which is how do I manage to have the energy and time to learn so many things right so I think over my time right in uh, what is it on uh, social media where you meet me personally right or when I do my group sessions right uh, people have this um um impression right i'm somebody who had learns and masters a uh, tons of things and i wouldn't blame them because why right i think uh since about two years ago i started off as a digital mar marketer i was an affiliate marketer i was an investment trainer speaker i was an investment coach i was a digital uh, digital marketer doing paid ads as well right uh, i was a business i'm a business owner right? i'm a, a, a chief uh, marketing officer so i've done a lot of things over this period right I talk, and also of course i talk about mastering methods productivity right uh and personal development health growth energy so i talk about a lot of things Right. But one thing I want to share, right? I think and firstly is how do I have the energy and time? I think that's talking more about energy. Right. So uh, I talk a lot about energy over my past few mushroom Mondays. I'm not gonna go so deep into it, right? But one thing I did that really supported me, my energy, right? I think uh, especially the past six to nine months was this whole concept of uh discharge, right? Then I talk about it over and over again, right? Something that I don't think I'll stop talking anytime soon, right? Which is that instead of taking a breaks only like maybe uh during my lunch breaks or during my dinner breaks, right? What I do is I take a break after an every hour or so. And what do I do during one hour? I take a five to 10 minutes break, right? Where I do uh, a bit of closing eyes. I do this thing of box breathing. I do deep breathing, right? I set my intention for the next task. And so what I do, right? It's as if uh, I'm like what I call an F1 car race driver, right? So what happens is when an F1 car race drivers, right? Uh, drives the like 40 laps and stuff, right? And what one thing you realize is when they go to a pit stop, and if you are not, if you're new to the space, right? Because what happens is when the car goes to the pit stop, right, you see all the cars passing him by, right? You see all the cars going past him. And if you're a new person, you'll be like, why is this person uh, having a pit stop when he's actually at the front and having all these cars overtake them, right? But the experienced drivers know, right, is that you got to take a break. You got to take a pit stop even before your tires start uh, losing out, before your tires start wearing out. Because if your tires start wearing out already, that's when it's already too late. Right. So what I one thing I do is even if I'm not feeling tired, even if I'm feeling okay, even if I'm feeling like hey, I'm I'm still feeling productive and stuff, I will still take my time, even if it's a five, 10, 20 seconds, even a, to close my eyes, take a deep breath, right? Because I want to recharge myself even before I feel tired. Because when I already start feeling tired, my burnout already begins, right? And that's when I lose my momentum, I won't be as productive as I want. Right. So that's one thing in terms of how I have a lot of energy, right? Just want a bit more general answer, right? But then the other part, right, is how do I have the time to learn so many? many things right so one one huge thing i learned right one huge uh this is a whole there's different concepts and uh, theories and things what i do but let's say for example if i was trying to learn something new today right if i was trying to learn something new today right instead uh this is what i would personally do right so you can take it as it is right of course first i have a blank notebook with me right uh, right now my ipad i have a note this app called notability i can write down a lot of notes and the first thing i'll do is i'll ask myself is how can i in the fastest way Right, in the best and fastest way, try to absorb as much information as possible. Right, so there are a few ways that you can actually absorb information to learn things. Right, you can read a book. Right, you can watch a video. Right, you can read an article. Right, you can attend an online course, an online workshop. Right, uh, you can uh, talk to a mentor, talk to someone who has been there. There's a lot of ways that you can do it. So what I would personally do is, right, uh, firstly ask myself, right, do I how much time and investment do I want to put into learning that new thing? Right, and typically, let's say it's something that I don't put so much money in. So what I'll do is I'll I will look at what are the top videos, right? What are the top subscribers in that space? Whether it's productivity, business, marketing, right? Who are the top big people? And I thought, how can I find it out? I can do Google research, right? I can check out uh YouTube, right? I can ask my friends who are into the space, right? See who are they following and stuff, right? And then what I do is I have a whole bunch of videos I watch. Right. And then I will I will one like in terms of one shot, right? One hour just watch all the videos and just to master and to read as many things as I can and to take as many as I can. So next thing I do is when I think when it comes to watching the videos, right? I typically won't do it at times one speed. I can do it times 1.5, times two, times 2.5 speed. Because initially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find out what are the key concepts, the key principles that the most successful people in a specific skill talk about. Right. So for example, in digital marketing, the first big thing I actually learned about was uh, in click funnels. And I knew that from a lot of people's experience, a lot of people's feedback that hey, they were one of the easiest ways and one of the most comprehensive way for beginners to pick up the art of digital marketing. Right. So one thing that I'll do in terms of how I pick up many things, right? And after I watch the videos, right, after I uh, get a bit of good introduction, and that's when I'll start implementing, that's when I'll start practicing as much as I can. Whether it's via my social media posts, right? Whether it's sharing what I learned, 
right, about productivity and stuff, right, whether is it actually joining a company, right, to actually apply them on a real life basis, right. So these two things, I think, combined, right, has really helped me quite a bit, right. So for example, when I was trying to be a better speaker and trainer, right, I was watching about Tony Robbins, how he spoke, I was trying to model how he did, right, a different speaking videos, uh, and stuff. And then what I did is I immediately organized sharing sessions, classes, workshops, right, to constantly practice my speaking, right. I think right now, by now, I've probably, uh, conducted more than 100, 200 sharing sessions uh, over the past two, uh, not past two years, maybe past five, six years, right? And, and that really helped me to improve my speaking, my investing, right, on so many levels. So that's something that uh, I hope that kind of helped, right? So the next thing is, uh, do I master one thing first and then proceed uh, with the next thing? Right, on how long do I take to master one thing, right? So in terms of how long, it really depends, right? Uh, quite say that I'm a master at a lot of these skills. I am not right now, I don't, right? I feel that it's still an ongoing journey. I feel that it's something I need to improve on constantly, right? But then I think the other question is, do I master one thing first and then proceed to the next step, right? So if you watch my earlier part of the video, right? If you haven't, you can watch it after the recording, right? What I do is, right, I practice the rule of trees. Right, so I always at one point of time I choose three big things to focus on, just three. Right, too many I'll be overwhelmed, and too little that might may not be the most effective. Right, so for example, right, um, two zero one nine, right, in March, right, and there's only three things I'm focus on. Right, uh, my social media branding, right, my social media branding, affiliate marketing, right, affiliate marketing. So I was posting, right, and I was learning about affiliate marketing as well, right, and then the overall con big point of marketing. Right, so it feels like it's the same thing, but it's not, right? Because I've been talking about so many things. I've been learning about paid ads. I've been learning about, uh, what do I call it? I can learn about your yeah, paid ads, TikTok, YouTube, right? Emails, no, right? I've on three things. My social media presence, right? Picking up this thing called affiliate marketing, right? Through KBB and stuff, right? And then the overall key concepts of digital marketing, right? In terms of persuasion, right? And so what you want to do is, I wouldn't buy one thing at first, but typically three things at once. And then the rest that you know that you want to develop, you still want to improve on, I will actually put them to a the next period, the next quarter, next month, next year, right? And that's how I learn and uh, pick up my things over a long period of time. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, can you just help, help me type uh help me type yes if I like this video, right? Just help me um just have me comment here, like the video, right? Then hopefully more people get the benefit, right? But I hope you guys have been getting some sort of value um so far. All right, so the next question, all right, how do I balance all the demands uh, in life, right? So work, family investments, right? Uh, this person uh, is very tired by the time stock market opens, right? So uh, one thing one thing I do, right? One thing in disclaimer is uh, I don't think that I'm an expert, right? In terms of balancing, right? Am I still on a lifelong journey of trying to balance different areas of my life? Absolutely, right? Uh, is it true that I do have as many commitments as other people, like parents and stuff? Absolutely, right? So that's something I'm still trying to work on. But one thing right now I've learned to do, right? Uh, which is, I think I gave the energy last week, I'm going to just repeat it again. It's like, for example, right? Just for example, that everybody has uh, a bunch of rocks, pebbles and stuff, and you're trying to fill up a vase, right? A fill up box, a vase, let's say a vase. And what most people do, right? What majority of people do is they will first fill up the vase with the small pebbles first. So what happens is, right? They fill up the small pebbles first and then they put the big rocks. But one thing they realize is when you put the small pebbles first, they're all at the bottom, right? And then when you put the medium rocks and the big rocks, right? Uh, it can't fill up the space. And that's why it cannot fill as many, as many, uh, as fill up the vast, as much as compared to if you first fill up the big rocks first, the medium rocks, and then the small pebbles, right? And so what happens when you put the big rocks first, the medium rocks, and then you put the small pebbles, the small pebbles can start filling up, right? Uh, the vast a lot more and you get to fill up, fill it up a lot, uh, more than if you just use the first option. So that's how I try to approach my own personal life as well, right? So I always try to put in the big rocks first, right? So what are the big priorities I have to focus on, right? Whether it's time my family, right? My date nights, right? my, fam my, my morning routines, right? So these are the things that I fill up first and then I add it in the medium stuff, like my business, my work, right? And then uh, so on and so forth, right? So that's how I first I balance is I put, I use, first I use a calendar, right? And then I focus on, uh, putting the big things first and then the small stuff. So one thing is, uh, for whoever is asking, how do I balance all the demands is, I will use calendar, right? I use a calendar to schedule my things and I'll follow the calendar, and calendar as much as I can, right? In terms of being tired, right? That's when you need to discharge, uh, maintain your energy, right? Sleep sleep sufficiently, you might have to say, start saying no to things, prioritize, right? But that's how I actually overall approach my, uh, my, my, my life, right? In terms of balancing all my different demands and interests uh, over this period of time, okay? 
Right, so next, uh, how to focus as there are too many things on my plate right now. I think absolutely say the same thing, right? Uh, very similarly, I think firstly, I talked about the Pebbles Rocks journey, uh, uh, analogy, right? With, with my family, my, my work, my investments, right? The next part, right? You got to have a very hard look and sit, have a good sit down and write down what are your top priorities in life? Right, so I think Warren Buffett is a very uh, famous uh, study. Which I, that was one of the first things I did right back in 2019, which is I first wrote out what the top 25 things I wanted to get done. What are the top five, 25 priorities right, in my life right now, right? Uh, in the terms of business, right, investing and stuff. Right, I started crossing them out right, because I wanted to choose what are the top five. Right, and I told myself for that year, I'm only going to focus on the top five. Right? Were, there, were there times when I changed? Right, I change the different things. Absolutely, when opportunity comes and stuff, right? But my take is right, is you got to start saying no a lot more often. And how do you do that? It's not by just writing things down on paper, right? You actually got to do it right by prioritizing in your calendar. Right. So anything that you feel that you okay is good to use, is good to do, but it's not in your priorities, what you can do is to put it in the save to later folder. Right, you can put it in a WhatsApp folder, uh, whatever to do list, right? And say this is for the next quarter, this is for the next year, and that's how I make sure that I focus on the things that truly matter in my life. Okay, All right. Uh, same thing. How do you structure a roadmap and blueprint as as uh, as well as a daily schedule, right? So this is something, of course, I talk about in my two days, uh, master mentors workshop, right? I talk, I talk more a lot more in detail because I cannot just give you one answer because that will be very uh, generic, right? So one thing, one thing is also depends on your personalized situation, right? Uh, and action. So, but a few a few key things. I definitely use my calendar, right? And start with a planning process, right? So that one, if you are, if you are keen, right, you actually can check out my uh my my two days workshop. Right, uh, and you can first find out through my webinar. Uh, if you want to find out more information about it, whoever asked about how do I personally uh design my own uh my own blueprint and schedules and stuff. Okay, so let me just put a link over there. All right, I see lightning chase new <laughs> over there as well. Okay, all right. So the next question, right? How do how do you have the energy to do the scheduled tasks along the way? Right, absolutely. Right, so uh, I talked about energy in a later part of, earlier part of the video, so you can check it out again, right? But one thing I want to say, right, is before, so after you finish your work, right, before you finish your work, one thing you got to do, right, is to set intention, right, to discharge and set your intention, right? So you got to, uh, your brain, the thing is, right, let's say after a long day of work, and you immediately going to spend time with your friends or your family, right? If you don't do a proper shutdown or closure in your brain, in your mind, you have a shutdown ritual, right? You will immediately, right? You, you will not be able to be fully present with whatever is on hand. So for example, right? Uh, for example, if you're working, uh, it's a long day and most of you are working from home, for example, right? And what happens is after that, Right, you immediately go and spend time with your loved ones, your friends, your family. And if you do not do a proper discharge of closure, right, like reviewing the, the your day's work, right, closing your eyes, setting attention, right, you won't be fully present, right. And that's also the reason why a lot of people are tired because their brain isn't fully shut down yet, because their brain is still working on so many freaking levels, right. So that's one thing I do in terms of long day and work, and then to focus on tasks I want, whether it's to read, to learn, to spend time with my friends, my loved ones, my investments, right. I'll do a proper shutdown ritual. I think that's something that a lot more people uh should do and uh, benefit from as well okay right how do i keep myself energy if any day i talk about energy again right today is uh, talking about energy but uh one huge thing right that i think helped me was uh i first know what are my future right in terms of what are my big goals right my top five ten things i want to get i want to see for myself in my future in the five ten years time and right i remind and then i break it down to more specific goals for myself and then through the specific goals i break it down to specific steps Right, specific priorities that I know that will eventually lead me to my top big goal for the future. So a lot of people, when they do the small actions, they're just thinking of the small action itself, right? But one thing I do is I already align my small actions, my daily habits, my routines, right, along to my big tasks, and that's what keeps me excited, motivated, and driven because I already know what do I need, what do I want, and why do I need to do the things I need to do to get, uh, get to a certain place. Um, for myself. So that's how I keep myself energy high because I already know what I want to do down the road, right? I've done a, a reflection, introspection. I took time to discharge, to relax, to actually think through it instead of just running the, the race, right? Without any awareness of what exactly am I doing all this for, right? Uh, and I align all this with my specific goals, a KPIs I want to achieve for myself and then, right, with the, the specific habits and stuff. So there's a lot of alignment for myself, right? Besides the usual ones of sleep more, exercise more, right? Uh, and discharging and stuff like that. 
All right, so uh, I think I'm done with uh, today's video, right? A bit uh, relaxed, just answering some questions. Let me know if you liked it. Uh, if you drop me a DM, you let me know in the questions as well, right? Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, at the same time, right? I hope you guys have a good night. I think tonight the market is uh, pretty up, so that'd be pretty fun, right? But with that, I end tonight's edition of Mastery Monday, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye, everyone.